council obviously want to get rid of council tax exemption mm -hmm. uh, for people on low incomes. What effect would that have on you and your family and your husband and your daughter if that were to come into place and you start have to start paying? Yeah, well, um, our budget at the moment um, is around £180 a week in cash after we've paid our rent. Um, that's basically for the three of us to eat, pay our bills. So it's fairly thinly stretched as far as the budget goes already. And uh, to add another another cost on to that list would really impact quite a lot. Um, you know, we've had to cut back on extras an awful lot already. And I don't really know where there is left to cut from now. So, you know, less food, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> seems to be. down to that point. See, yeah, yeah, it has got to that point. I'm lucky I haven't had to use any food banks yet, but, you know, that's something that's always a possibility. I'm a single working parent. I work between 16 and 24 hours a week, and that means that I'm entitled to the council tax deduction. If the council got their way, and we saw council tax exemption being taken away from people, people having to start paying, or council tax reduction being decreased and people having to start paying more. For you personally, like what sort of effect would that have on you and your family? Um, personally, considering we haven't been away on holiday for six years, yeah. maybe, and when we did go away it was through ca the carer's centre. I, can't, I have to buy everything second hand. So to have even more money taken from me, I don't know what we would do. It's already really expensive to live. Do you think that um, the council tax reduction would have an effect on your health or your family's health, like mental or physical? Um, I think that, you know, uh, financial difficulties are always bad for your mental health. I mean, probably money and worries over money are one of the main reasons that you know couples fight you know you end up getting stressed you're worried about where you're going to get money from you're maybe a bit upset about the things that you aren't able to do that you aren't able to give your children you aren't able to provide so you finally had a letter now about um the consultation that the council are doing yeah <laughs> and that actually ends in a couple of weeks how do you feel about the fact that They've left it till two weeks before to let people know. know that they've got this. a way to have a say. I didn't even know that this was happening had it not been for Facebook and being a, a part of Acorn. That's the only way that I know about it. From sharing it on Facebook, people are actually quite upset. And there's only a small amount of people that I actually know who have had the letter so far. They're consulting people about this particular cut council tax exemption and reduction but what they're actually doing is giving people three options mm. all of which would mm. see people who don't pay anything at the moment having to pay yeah um, and the reductions being reduced why do you think they're only giving an option only giving three options that see mon the money being increased and like not yeah well not allowing people to keep it the same yeah that's what i was i was wondering myself why are they not uh providing alternative options to uh making people pay at all are they uh, are they not working hard enough to find other solutions are they unwilling to find other solutions um what is the reason that they are so actually set on cutting the council tax reduction entirely it does seem to be really of the mind frame of, of the mindset of of uh, the continued punishing of the poor um so yeah i mean I, I don't know why they're not giving other options but i think that there are plenty of other options that they could look at and it, it's in a way it gets into people's heads that it's already a, a done deal, yeah, that it's already yeah. something that's happened, that's been decided on, not that, you know, it's actually not yet been implemented. And, you know, that's, that's yeah, that's a, a bit of mental trickery. A lot of the measures that they take are about doing, I think, and, and convincing people that there's no real point in fighting or standing up for their, their rights.